good morning guys it's yet another morning so it is what it is are you assalamu alaikum good 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 sajib bhai good you're not you're not good oh mr madan yes how are you good 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 long time i am long time Otherwise, how's that? Uh, good. Good? Uh, okay. Hope you guys are well. Now, today I wanted us to talk about something real quick, and I know it's not always real quick, but I'm just used to saying real quick. Uh, as you can see, the sun is just almost going to 7 a.m., and uh, I'm just walking from point A to point B. But nevertheless, uh, this is that one, that one is just a by the way. I just need to tell you guys what I've learned since I came to Saudi Arabia. Uh, don't think that I've been here for a very long time. No, no, no. Been here for some few months. I love saying few months, but quite some time. So, just uh, some of the things that I've learned since I came to Saudi Arabia. And to begin with, I'd love to say that uh, uh, discipline, you know. Discipline will always be my number one thing. It's not that back in my country I wasn't disciplined, but there's that level of discipline that is usually here that you really need to adhere to because come to think about it um, you're in someone's business you know and what is always shocking to me is that if this guy tells you that on restaurants on, on hotels on, uh, on farms and all those different kind of uh, jobs uh, if this guy if the rules say that you should be there by three you are actually there by three or even 250 you know as compared to back in your country you're always relaxed you see you're always relaxed which at times can be a little bit challenging as you compare to situations you know and Discipline to me has always been something that I've, since I came to Saudi Arabia, it has increased to a certain level. That I would say that, I mean, <laughs> I never expected for it to reach in that level. Since I came to Saudi Arabia, in different places that I've worked, I've realized that be, like, if you don't want, either you want it or not want it, you need to go to work, you see. That consistency, even if you don't want it, you feel like today I'm feeling a little bit low, and I'm bored and I, I just feel like I don't, I'm not in the cycle of going to work. You, you have to go to work. That's it. So that consistency plus discipline, you end up achieving a lot. And I don't know where you are or where you're watching this video for, but 
if you try those two things, discipline, and then you add on consistency, you know, just little by little, because at first you'll always feel like your body is tired, your body is almost giving up, your mind is always giving up, but you have to go to work. So by pushing yourself, you end up realizing that you've done more than you expected. And leave alone work. If you extend that, those two factors, before you go to the third one and the fourth one, you find that you achieve a lot in life. Because at the end of the day, you end up uh, achieving a lot because you push yourself, push yourself more and more. And eventually, without noticing, you realize that, oh, Really, I can. I did this. Didn't believe that I could do this, but now I'm capable of doing this, and I've done it to anyone who is back at home, where wherever you're watching this from. Just try those two things first, and then you'll, you'll always understand what I'm saying later on. But if you really want something, then you have to put in that effort. That's what I would say. That's what I would say. If you really want something, you have to put in that effort. Now. Uh, Apart from that, uh, other thing that I've learned here in Saudi Arabia is that uh, you need to be humble, you know. Being humble doesn't mean that you have now people cross your line on. You need to be humble, but you need to create boundaries. You need to let someone know that when it reaches this point, then, then you're crossing the border, you know. But at the same time, be humble. It's a juggle of balancing, you know. So balancing yourself in humbleness, because humbleness will lift you at very top places will let you communicate with top people because all in all people will always say ah you know this guy is always humble so let him speak or this guy is always humble um, maybe he, he knows more but and also by being humble you end up realizing that people will understand people will always have that idea that you know more and in reality if maybe you don't know more it gives you a chance to be able to learn and always be on the top side because people always see that hey, maybe this guy knows a lot and in reality maybe if you don't know more but your humbleness with that humble they give you opportunity so you end up learning more and you end up uh, communicating more with the people and always people giving you utmost respect apart from that i've just realized that self-esteem is so important and i know sometimes people don't understand issues of self-esteem you know self-esteem honestly guys it is a major thing in Saudi Arabia. I don't know in other countries. I mean, to me, generally, self-esteem is major. It's, ma it's major because in anything that you do, we'll always feel like, ah, you know, maybe these people will, will see me in this perspective and do this. And so you need to always be there to, to guard yourself, to communicate more. So by communicating courageously, you need that self-esteem within yourself. You need to always be ready to talk and to speak your mind out because here, the truth of the fact is people will always feel like ah, this guy is not enough oh, maybe this guy doesn't know the important thing is that if you have self-esteem you'll be able to deal with a lot of issues because you'll always be willing to push yourself to, to the maximum communicate to speak your mind out you know which is i mean so very important so those are some of the things that i've learned in saudi arabia and just to wind it up there's one thing which i cannot forget always try as much as possible to learn new skills you know, things when you come in Saudi Arabia or any other countries, you know, this is just a perfect example of me. Um, I've always tried to better myself on a daily basis, try to learn new skills, try to understand things here and there because it will be very sad that you come after finishing your, your contract. I don't know how many years your contract is, but it will be very sad that you come, you finish your contract, and then after finishing your contract, let us talk here for a bit. And then after finishing your contract, you end up having nothing apart from the work that you came to do. So it's always important to try and learn new skills. Associate yourself with the people who have better skills than you. If someone is a good communicator, try to learn. How is this guy communicating? How is this guy he does to his day-to-day -day life, you know? And with that, you'll end up learning more. By the time you're going back to your country, you'll have more knowledge on different aspects of life. So skills. And then one of the of the last things, it's not the last, it's among the first, but you know, I've, I've just rearranged everything because it's just flowing in my head. So one of the other things before I forget, it always be uncomfortable because in your day-to-day -day basis, like for me, 
I love being uncomfortable in the sense that I learn new things. I'll try as much as possible to push myself. If there's something I want to do, I, ju I just say no. I don't need to do it tomorrow. I can do it today. Same same way can apply to you. If you have the opportunity, other people have net opportunities. You're not paying for net. You're not paying for electricity bills. You're not paying for where you're sleeping. If you have that opportunity, then don't just make don't just make your brain to relax and feel like ah you know what I've already reached I've already relaxed because once you start to relax then you won't end up uh, having other plans you won't end up achieving your goal 